Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can turn this and this into something like this and this in under five minutes using our brand new 3D Lean Effects Pack. This pack includes drag and drop 3D assets that you guys can use on any video editing software. You don't have to have any 3D skill or knowledge to use them, they're just drag and drop. There are tons of variations including vortexes, loading up, raining, transitions, and much, much more. There's also some crazy liquid simulations in there. And right now we're running a Christmas BOGO, so that means if you guys wanna pick up this brand new pack, you can get another pack for free on our website. And this works up to three times, so if you guys add three three packs to your cart and add three more, you will get three of them for completely free. This deal is only gonna last a few days, so I highly recommend you guys go check that out on our website. There are tons of editing packs there that you guys can use to level up your videos and your turnaround time. All right, so we're in Premiere Pro here, guys. We're gonna get started by adding the 3D lean effects to this can can clip here as we did at the beginning. Basically, what I have here is I have the layer and then I have a rotoscope layer that I got from After Effects. Now, the easiest way to do this is if you just right click, replace with After Effects composition and then go in and rotoscope. I have a tutorial on rotoscoping linked in the description below. But most of you guys should know how to rotoscope. This is only for one effect. You don't have to do this for any of the vortexes. This is just so I have the purple liquid going in behind him. So let's get started, guys. We're going to go and open up our lean effects pack here. Once you decompress your files here, we're going to have the bottles, the double cups, and the liquid paths. So once we open up the bottles here, you have all of these options for bottles, all of these options for double cups, and then two liquid paths. But if you guys buy the pack, you guys will get free updates going into the future. All right, let's start off with the liquid paths. We're going to drag and drop them into Premiere here. And I'm going to go with the liquid path one here. As you guys can see, crazy liquid path. And then we have this smaller one here. Let's go and put that there and put that behind can there. Let's move this clip over. Now, since the liquid path is behind him, once it goes around him, it's going to disappear. But I'm going to make this a lot better. I'm going to speed it up to 200 speed. And we're going to start it off in front of him. But I'm going to increase the size here by going to effect controls, scaling it up so it starts there. And then once it goes about there, so it's not in front of him, I'm going to bring it behind just like that. So it's going to start in front of him and then go behind him and we'll cut that off there and that already looks crazy i love the way that looks there guys if you guys want you can go ahead and add some blur to it in premiere pro i recommend using gaussian blur but if you're an after effects camera lens blur is better so you can get a nice little blur like that and then we can press Control c Control v and paste it onto the first one there too so that looks cool there guys i messed with that now going into our lean effects pack here as you guys can see we have all these bottle vortexes we have cup vortexes we have the cups floating up multiple variations of that we have the single bottle floating up no cup floating up so i'm gonna go ahead head here and get the cups floating up i like this variation of it right here we're going to trim that down now these files are all 4k so you're going to have to scale it out if you're working on 1080p footage so we're going to move it to about there i'm just going to add some gaussian blur on it because it is in the foreground and can can is in focus so i think something like that is fair and then if we go back into our project here and we go up to our single cup floating up or a single bottle let's go with the bottle just to add some variation now i love the way this bottle looks i designed it to have droplets on the front of it it looks really cool so we're going to scale that down there let's have it come up from there so we'll already have it halfway coming up and let's move it to the side here like that so it doesn't cover can's face cool and then since it is really close to the camera and can isn't focused like before we're gonna have to add a thicker blower onto this to make it look more realistic and boom that looks really cool there guys we also have this other variation of it that i like a lot so if we throw this one in here and we turn this one off for now this is actually the bottle coming up like before but it ends up opening up and lean spills just like that so that's also a cool variation of that if you guys want to try something new but i'm just going to leave this one in here for now and i love the way that looks you guys can get super cool lean effects just like this and like how long did that take like 30 seconds crazy let's move on to the next clip here guys we're going to use the vortexes on this one just to show off how they work let's go into our lean effects pack let's do the double cup ones and then i'll move on and show you guys the other ones afterwards so scaling it down and matching it to our subject here what we're going to end up doing is we're going to go to the beginning of our clip keep from the position and scale and we're just going to follow along eat there if he comes into the camera a little bit closer we'll make it bigger move it to the side move it up and boom we can get a cool look just like that in a matter of seconds super sick and you guys can do the exact same thing with the bottles here now there are multiple variations of them so let's say you want them flying across the screen like this just to add some more depth you guys can do that same for the cups as well this one here is really good to do flying across the screen like that just to add some depth and then you can bring it down like that so that looks sick there and now super easily we can just turn that off let's say we want to do bottles on you here you can drag and drop and put that one in there bring that down this one is a little bit taller it can be used for different ones but i still think it'll look good on here so boom just like that we're gonna go to the beginning keyframe it and then just as he moves you can just fix it so move to the side a little bit and where he slows down here these are all 60 frames per second so see it goes into slow-mo there i didn't do it for the first one but we can bring that down to 50 percent speed and watch as he goes into slow-mo the bottle will go into slow-mo too and then when he picks up back speed right there we can set it back to 100 you get some cool effect just like this
which I think is super sick. I love the way that looks. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to go grab the 3D Lead Effects Pack, you can use code TUTORIAL10 to get 10% off your purchase. And right now, like I said at the beginning of the video, we're doing a buy one, get one free sale for all of our packs. So you can grab this pack and get another one for absolutely free. And this works up to three times, like I said at the beginning. So if you buy three packs and add three more to your cart, three of them will be free. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned. The sale is only going to be on for a few days. And if you guys enjoyed this video, I recommend checking out one of these two banger videos right here. You guys will learn something and you will step up your edits. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.